Hey everyone, it's Saturday here, and in the previous episode, we got some self-touch from Tinker's Construct. So with that uh, self-touch, we can get further into occultism. Now if you remember, occultism is all about the... Uh, rituals and like demons and and fun stuff like that so that is what we want to do in this episode so like that sub button if if you haven't and if you like that video click like and if you dislike it well i don't advise it but you can dislike it it's completely up to you Totally free to to do so. So um, let's get to it. So first of all, I want to make a particular weapon that is um is pretty nice. I don't know why this is not coming out, but um, it should. Now this should work. Bam. Rose gold for the handle. We also have cobalt on, on this side. So this weapon is the uh, cleaver. So with this cleaver, it will help us with beheading. So with with beheading, you can um get a decent amount of uh, certain resources that we need using the um, blaze. So we kill blaze, there's a chance, a higher chance to get eight heads. And um, with wither skeletons, with skeletons, anything, anything that requires, like any recipes that require Heads, um, this weapon will help us with it. And now it's my accident there. So now, what I want to do, take this out, open the bag here, and, um, I got some things, uh, ready for today. So, we need these four pieces here. This cobalt large plate, which we got. The Nahuatl tough handle, rose gold tough handle, and Nahuatl rod blade. So to get the Nahuatl, Nahuatl, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. I think that's how you pronounce it. Nahuatl. No idea what it means. But um, we need these things here. Skystone dust. So we need to get particular things, particular resource that we actually need later on. But as you see here, we need eight buckets of this sky solution. And we also need three more buckets. We need 11 buckets of this volatile sky solution so the way we get this is with water and sky stone dust in a mixer the way you get sky stone dust super ridiculously easy sky stone first in a in a pair of brushing wheels or the millstone so you put sky stone into a millstone, you get sky stone dust, and you also get sky stone back. So, 100% chance to get each of these. So, what I did between episodes is um, I did a lot of exploring on a stream, and um, you want to check out my Twitch stream. Information will be on the screen here. It will also be in the 
description alone. We got a lot of exploration and um I also got the um required skystone dust. So you need four dust to get five hundred millibuckets. You need eight times eleven to get the eleven buckets that we need. Um yeah. So that requires us to get these things uh blended. And um let's see, let's get this uh hammer here from from create and we can get this um piece over here out so we can actually get stuff into here. Bam. You don't see me get uh, buckets of water into here. There's still stuff in here. There you go. And then some water. We need a bucket. Where is the bucket? Do we have the bucket? Oh, we got the chain drive here. Yeah, let me let me just sort this inventory. But let me let me uh, show you how to do this. So we get water into here, just like that. Into here, and then this will go right here. Bam. Mixing up. You can see right there. One bucket. We need to get putting keep putting water into here. So um let me do this. And I'll be right back. Well here we go. We got the lever now. We want to get some skeleton heads for a ritual here. But I want to show you how this uh, forest is coming out. Um, while we were exploring, we came across a mystery wood sapling and a rainbow bird sapling. I planted them and um, we got a forest going. Um, I kind of want to call this the, um, enchanted forest. And eventually you want to have, like, like, buildings around here, like, wizard towers. Um, I might have, like, a big, uh, wizard tower with, like, these, uh, rituals on every floor. I don't know. We'll see. I think that'll look really, really good. But, um, before we get going to this, um, get some skulls, uh, we need to get some, uh, rituals going. So the reason why I have dirt and stone and an and egg here is because we need to get some end stone. Because we need to crush the the end stone and also the only way to 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 crush the the um the end stone is with a foliot crusher because the next level we could get but we need the genie crusher to get the uh we'll fix calling but you see here there's some um, purple purple chalk purple Purple symbols here. So that requires purple chalk. To get the purple chalk, we need the crushed endstone and crushed obsidian. So, um, that is what I want to do to get the possessed endermite. So, 
um, we got the lure, the Hadrian's lure, we got these things, so, um, let's do this, uh, ritual over here. Leave, I got, no, we need the gold, uh, uh, plate in the middle here. We also need the, the other plates. Hashtag prepared. You know, the placement of the bowls don't matter as long as it is eight blocks away from the middle bowl here. So eight that way, that way, that way, or, or that way. So. So those black particles means it's waiting for our sacrifice. Not gonna work now. Yes, we got the purple art particles. Just like that. Bang, we got the end stone. Nice. So now what do we do? We need to crush this end stone. The way we will crush that is with the Crusher Spirit. So, to get the Crusher Spirit, we need to get the particular uh, ritual here. Let's see here, what is it? Avian Circle. So now we also need um, Obsidian. Let's get the, let's get the Obsidian. Oh, nice. It was. We did it. So pick those two. Kind of grind them up just like that. So take the obsidian two. Grind those up. And once I get those things ground up, I'll be back. And there we go. We got the purple chalk. I'm going to throw it in the cultism fire, and we can get the purple chop. Nice. Oh, now we can draw these things that, that we need. Especially this one right here. This kind of uh, formation is for the Ophix only. That is the one that we needed. We need iron dust, zinc dust, copper dust, and gold dust. But we need the genie book. I'm just gonna call him a uh, gin. Let's see here. Let's get the purple chalk here. Let's get this down. But as you see here, we need some candles, we need some skulls, especially these skulls. So where are we going to get these skulls, you say? Um, well, I found a dungeon not that far from here, I think, yeah, that way, that direction. So, um, meet you there. All right, so we are at the dungeon, and um, I got night vision on, so we can actually see. So it actually has been at least an hour or so before or after the previous cut, because I wanted to get some better things on the cleaver. So let's just go down there. Get the pickaxe here and get this. This skeleton, yeah. So let me explain something here. Yeah, I just got the eyes. A better chance to get on. Uh, uh, Close. 
So, um, yeah, we gotta scroll back, nice. Got that right here. So, let me, um, explain this here. So, there is a over slime on the cleaver now. The way you get over slime is with over overcast and other um uh, modifiers that has over in the name overcast is from slime steel so i replaced a um nahuatl piece or slime steel to your overcast you know the way overcast works is when my Cleaver would take a uh, durability damage. The over slime goes down instead. So the way you repair this is actually pretty, pretty interesting here. So um, we'll go into my backpack here. We'll get the tinker station. And this is just how we repair things when I'm out in the world. Because I just, I don't know which way is more, um, efficient, either to make the, um, the thing that, um, I can't recall the name of it, but it basically, you attach it to your weapon or, or tool, and, um, you can repair it that way. But I just want to use the speaker station. For that, so we'll take slime crystals, which is gathered from um melting slime. And that's the way you get the crystals. I just got back from the from the dungeon. Um, as you saw there, we got a good amount of loot. But now, I want to get into the main part of this episode. Finishing up, well, mostly finishing up, uh, the cultist. Um, what I want to do now is make a special kind of, uh, pickaxe. And, um, all the, uh, infused pickaxe where I need some silver, some some of this right here, the uh what do you call it? What's this called? Spirit attuned pickaxe head. Which requires three diamonds thrown into the spirit fire, the uh purple fire is here over there. So this is the uh Xavius uh uh, ritual on uh, let's place this here and let's put this but oh wait we need another ingot of of silver here and then we also need put a genie book down here well it would help to use the correct ritual now we can place this down here and it will start the process I am right there so with this item that i'm making it will make this particular item here actually pretty quick um so with the infused pickaxe you go into the nether you get the uh special fruit the demon's fruit or the goggles and I believe with the, the goggles, you can see the easium, or um, you can't. You have to um, take the demon's fruit. Um, let's take this pickaxe here. Should be done in, in any second now, just like this. Bam! Just like that. I've got this special pickaxe that barely has any durability. So 
Let's get this ace down in the nether, shall we? There we go. I'll get it with the uh, infused pickaxe. Nice, we got some. So well, let me get um a good amount here and um I'll return. Alright, so I'm back from the nether to um get the easium. So I got the ingots by getting the ores like you just saw and um using our little buddy here, the crushing dude, which is in this guy right here, the quantum catcher, which I'll explain in in a second. So we get the ore, we give it to this guy, rare mead, and he will crush it for us. So that is how I got the easium ingots, which you get the easium dust from this little guy, um, rare mid, and he crushes it down to the powder, and with the powder we can, um, smelt that into the ingots you see here. And with these ingots, we can make something called an ore miner genie, which requires an easy and big axe, which we already have, and um, this just makes it where you can see the easy ore without having consuming the demon fruit. So, get the easy pickaxe, which is um, a regular pickaxe, just three easy attached to two sticks. That's get the pickaxe. And I need empty magic lamp, which is, I believe, silver. So it's just iron and um, easy to make it. That's super simple. And we also need a block of easy. Now, this will go into something called a dimensional mine shaft, which requires another block of easium, some other obtainable things that we have, the uh, genie book, piece of gold, four other stones, and a spirit attuned crystal. So that's something we can do. Um, I'll do this between episodes, and I make the magic lamp, aka the ore miner genie between episodes, because I want to get into the most insane part of this mod is you can think about it as digital storage, but in this mod it is dimensional. Storage. So I don't know if you just saw the contents of the backpack that, that I opened. We need to make the crystal matrix. Super simple. Um, and the base itself, also super simple. And um, these don't work um, on its own. So you craft these two things. You get the storage actuator. Now, to make this actually work as storage, we need this right here. The dimensional storage stabilizers. There are four tiers, which tier four is Blockasium, Dragon Head, the Pure Attune Crystal. This gets expensive because it is better the more you have. So you have the actuator, 
And then you can attach these stabilizers on each side of the actuator itself. So you can have six of these. One on each um, cardinal direction, above it and below it. So I want to make six of these. So I got the six blocks of copper, the other stone pedestals, and the spirit attuned gem. The only thing I don't have is the blaze powder, and of course, you get this from blaze rods. And you can also crush it, you get three of these from the regular crusher spirit, and you can also get the blaze rods, which the recipe in this pack is the molten core. We're not going to worry about those. We're going to worry about actually casting. We need to make a rod gold cast, which is the easy part here. But we need blazing blood, which is the, well, as that it would imply, comes from a blaze. So, one blaze rod is 100 blazing blood. You can also use blaze heads, which also give 100 blazing blood. Now, as you see here, blaze blood can actually be used in place of water. So what we need to do now is find the fortress and a blaze spawner, and I'll return to you, and finish the setup of the dimensional storage. But what we can do now, make this guy here. Now I also made this remote, which can be put into a curious a curios slot, but we also made this guy here, the actuator. So let's put this in a central location where the um, barrels are, and we're step one step closer to making some uh, probably the most insane thing you can do without. Without too many resources, think about this. We're we're um not using any kind of power, and we're getting something that's pretty powerful. So I want to put it in like a central location that is not too out of place. Maybe like right here or something? Um, or here? No, let's see here. I mean, this is gonna be like, wirelessly controlled, so... So, um... We can just put this... Anywhere, really. You can put it like right here. Just right here. Look at that. Bam. Pretty cool. I can click this and, uh, and interact with it, and at the current state, it can hold 128 different item types. So we can have 17 Eastman. Just like that. And that counts as one. So you can have 1,028 as one slot. That's insane. That's crazy. Just like that, we, we have storage. Now to make this exponentially better, 
you make these uh, by storage stabilizer. So that's what we need to make at the current time. So, um, yeah, put another find the fortress and some blades. So I made uh, six stabilizers here, and well, you can see there's 128 slots right now. So we'll place just one right here. That jumps it to 384. And just look how much space we have now. 1,664 different items that can stack to 1,024 or 1,028. That's a lot of items. So as you do with a digital storage, like um, refined storage or, or applied energistics, um, we just put everything into the storage. Sleep. There we go. We got them. Um, purple effect. Yeah. There he is, right there. Um, can you please come hither? There we go. Now we equip this. Can we get water breathing? Is that the way it works? Yes, nice. We got water breathing. That is awesome. Let's go swimming. Ooh, hoo, hoo. one with the fish. Pretty cool, right? Now we can also make another familiar, like you saw there. Um, that will give me fire resistance. So, unfortunately, we can only have one ring equipped, but we can make another ring for specifically other familiars that, that we want to use. So that's pretty cool, right? So that's pretty cool to get uh, water breathing here, but on, on that note, we got some storage and we got a good standing with occultism. So hope you enjoyed occultism and uh, we will go back to the progression of the mud pack. So I hope you enjoyed the episode and learned at least one thing. If you did, you were entertained or were um, educated on the occultism mod. Hope you really learned something. Um, 
That is the ultimate goal I have. Is you're educated. And you are entertained with um, some interesting thoughts. So I'll be swimming and um, doing stuff until the until the next episode. Like I said, we'll go back to the progression of the mod pack. Some exciting things are going to happen in the uh, next few episodes. Alright, until then, see you next time.